Finland has a lot of awesome desserts and in this video I'll show you 13 desserts that you definitely have to try. What's happening Fantastics? My name is Alex and I make authentic, fun and useful videos about Finland. So if you're interested in Finland, hit that subscribe and the bell button so you don't miss any awesome Finnish stuff on this channel. Number one, pannari. Literally this translates actually to pancake, but this is a little bit different compared to the pancake, for example, in America. This is usually like a square shaped and is prepared in the oven. And we usually eat this with, for example, berry jam. And this is made by mixing milk, flour, eggs, sugar, butter, and prepared in oven instead of frying pan, like the regular pancakes for example, in America. And sometimes you might see this in restaurant menus, but at least, for example, my experience is that we usually do this at home, and I used to have this maybe every month at least at home when I was living there. Really good, you should try that. Number two, vispipura. And literally this means whipped porridge. And basically this is kind of like a porridge made out of berries, and usually lingon berries, by the way. This is actually quite easy to do, you just need this uh, what do you call this, porridge groats, the one that you make porridge out of, berries and sugar. We have this always at home because it's really easy to do and my family usually goes, we go quite often to the forest and pick the berries of our own and so actually we can create this, this awesome dessert from our own berries. This is really awesome. Number three, joulutorttu. And if you haven't checked my video about Finnish Christmas foods, go check it out, link popping up here. And these are these kind of star-shaped pastries prepared and served in Christmas time. And this is actually really, really easy to do. Like if you are living in Finland, you can buy the duff or the dough. I think dough is the pronunciation. You can buy the dough from the store and then you just cut them and make the foldings, make a star shape. And in the middle you put either plum or cherry jam, put in the oven and then a little bit this powder, sugar, and you're good to go. And these are really awesome in the Christmas time. Number four, blueberry pie. And this is a really traditional one as well. And this was actually voted to be the most popular Finnish dessert last year. And the, this, there was this survey made up, made by the Suomi Sata Finland 100 organization. This just consists of the dough and blueberries on it. And we usually enjoy this with a vanilla sauce. And this is so good. And also quite easy to prepare. And again, if you have, if you have your own blueberries picked from the forest, oh, that's the best thing because you can, you can actually say that you have created this from start to end by yourself all the way from the ingredients. Number five. Pull. And this is kind of like bun or baked roll, I guess in English. This is like a really, really typical dessert. Like if you are in Finland and you go to restaurants, shops and stuff, you can see that this is pretty much always served. And there's actually different types of pullas, for example, laskiaispulla, tähtipulla, pitkopulla, voisilmapulla. So different kinds of pullas there. And you can again prepare this on your own or buy from the stores. Number six, köyhät ritarit. And this is kind of funny because the name literally translates to poor nights. And this is really, really easy to do. Basically, you just take this wheat bread, not, not rye bread, the, the light one, and then you can just dip it in milk. And then you just fry it on a pan. And then you can just add whipped cream and berry jam and that's it. And this is really easy to do. Even, even I can do this. And it is somewhat common. I remember at home, when I was living at home, we had this every once in a while at least. Number seven. Kiseli. This is a little bit similar to Vispipuro. If I would need to describe this, I think this is like a berry soup. And when I was living at home, we have this every week. And every, still, when I visit home, we, my mom usually make this. Because this is actually really easy to do again. You basically just need berries, water, and potato flour. We also make different kinds of kiseli, depending which berry you use. You make blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, and so on. And we usually enjoy this with whipped cream or vanilla sauce again. Number eight, runeberin tortu. And I think this translates like the pastry of runeberry. This one has been named after the Finnish poet Johan Ludwig Runeberg. And this is a little bit interesting. I actually had to check this, look this up. And this is like a pastry flavored with almonds and arak, or and sometimes even with rum. On the top, there's like a sugar ring with raspberry jam. Really nice. Finland has actually a national day for this uh, poet Runeberry, and it's on 5th of uh, February. <laughs> yeah, 5th of February. And you can actually find these Runeberry pastries uh, all the way from January to all the way to the 5th of December. Well, sorry, 5th of, 5th of February <laughs> from the shops as well. 
and restaurants too. Number nine, Laskias pulla. And this is another type of these pullas which I meant. And this is especially served during Laskian, which is a seasonal celebration before Easter. And basically it's just this pulla, which has like a really thick layer of whipped cream and usually berry jam inside. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. And back in the days, people believed that during this Laskiainen, which is called, well, I had to look this up, Shrub Tuesday. And people back then used to believe that the more fatty food you ate, the better, for example, cows gave milk and the bigger pigs grew. Yeah, but anyway, you can again make, make this by yourself and you can find this in restaurants during closer to Laskiainen. And I, actually, I bought one already last week, which is quite early, but it's still really nice to have it every once in a while. Number 10, Mammi. And this is really interesting one because it looks kind of really gross. This one actually sh splits the opinions quite heavily. Some people love it, some people hate it, but I'm the one who loves it. Basically, it's like sweetened porridge made out of water, rye malt, and rye flour. And we usually put some sugar and cream, and then mwah, it, we eat this. And this is during the Easter. This is like an Easter special. And people don't really make this by themselves because people can buy it. This can be bought from the shops during Easter time. It's pretty cheap. Like you can buy this one box and then I think it's like a few euros. Really good stuff. And you should definitely try that one and let me know what if you like it or not. Number 11, Munki. And Munki looks very much like a donut. And it's, it is this round shape, just kind of like a donut. And usually there's also some berry jam inside. And this is also quite interesting because Munki also in Finnish means monk. And it has this kind of interesting backstory that when you fry this, deep fry this monkey, it becomes the color of the robe of this vigorous monk. That's quite interesting. And this is like all year treat in Finland. It isn't really tied to any specific time or season. And there's also different types of monkey. There's this regular monkey, which is usually covered with sugar. Then there's this Berlin in monkey, which means the uh, donut of Berlin. And it's usually covered with this colored caramel stuff. And then there's also monkey posso, which means like a monk pig. And it is kind of like a bigger, longer one filled with jam as well. Number 13 and the last one, Raiskele. And this is kind of like a pancake, what people think, for example, in America, but it's like much thinner and we prepare it on, on a frying pan. And this is really easy to do as well. You can just mix flour, eggs and milk and you just fry it on the frying pan both sides and that's it. And this is also served with jam and sometimes ice cream or whipped cream. And you can also make this kind of roll out of it and then eat it like that. What is your favorite Finnish dessert? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to join our Fantastic Squad and get the videos and updates in the future as well. And hit that bell button as well. See you next time. Somor.